When to cite. In order to ethically use information and avoid unintentional plagiarism, sources need to be cited when you quote, paraphrase, or include a summary of another author's ideas. Anytime you use someone else's words, images, videos, or other intellectual property, you must give credit to the source. Even if you substantially change the original source of information, you will still need to provide a citation. Citations tell your audience where the information comes from and allows them to find the original source. Plagiarism, even if unintentional, can have serious consequences. Being busy or claiming you did not know is not an excuse for failure to attribute your sources. Be aware your instructor has tools for detecting plagiarism, including Turnitin. In most cases, you will include an in-text citation and also include a full citation in the list of works cited, also known as a bibliography or reference list. Attribution is a way to identify a source used in your research. Quotations, paraphrases, summarization, and signal phrases are examples of attribution. If you directly quote from a source, you will use a quotation, putting the exact phrase in quotation marks. If you restate the information in your own words, this is known as paraphrasing. Even if you paraphrase, attribution is still required. Summarization is a lot like paraphrasing, but broader. It is an overview of a whole work or a whole school of thought, and you'll still need to provide an attribution. Signal phrases. A signal phrase is a way to help you as a writer introduce your audience to a source. Use this anytime you reference someone else's words, ideas, images, videos, or other intellectual property. You should now have a good idea of when to cite. Anytime you use someone else's ideas, words, phrases, images, or other intellectual property. For more information on citation styles, you can visit the library's citation guidelines page or the University Writing Center.